Hello dear viewers, this is your favorite channel Organ Babu. Today we are going to talk about landmark based central venous catheterization at right subclavian approach. At first we prep the skin with povidone iodine solution over the area. Then we take the local anesthetic for numbness of the puncture site. <clears throat> then we take the heparin to mix it with distilled water to make a heparinized solution which is needed for priming the central venous line. A central venous line is usually 15 to 30 centimeter long. Uh, so it uh, so each lumen contains a certain amount of uh, air inside it. So it is necessary to deaerate it to prevent the risk of air embolism. And uh, for the purpose of landmark based central venous catheterization, we have to find out a point at the skin just over the uh, clavicle along its length. The point is uh, medial two third and lateral one third, and the puncture site is just one centimeter below this point. And we have to put our uh, local anesthetic, infiltrate our local anesthetic at the puncture site to numb the skin. Then we take the needle, which is usually medially directed, and uh, by finding the puncture site, we uh, just introduce the needle and we advance towards the suprasternal notch with a negative suction pressure over the plunge of the skin and we see a clutch of blood inside our inside our syringe and then we uh, then we put our guide wire by the side port the guide wire should be introduced at very smoothly if it is not going inside it very smoothly then maybe the needle is displaced from the right subclavian vein then we pull out our uh, needle by leaving the guide wire inside the subclavian vein. <clears throat> then we slightly increase the puncture site uh, slightly, not more, not too much. Then we put dilator over the uh, guide wire to dilate uh, the um, skin and subcutaneous structure for easy going of the central venous line. And uh, finally, uh, we have to introduce the central venous line just over the guide wire. And this technique is called cell danger technique. And this technique is named by its inventor, cell danger. And uh, then uh, up by doing uh, the central venous catheter uh, inside the uh, subclavian vein, then we take a heparinized solution and uh, fix it with each and every half and push and pull distilled water or heparinized water inside the air to check the functionality of all the lumen. And after that, we close all the lumen. Then we fix the central venous catheter just over the skin and we peel a package of uh, suture material and we take the needle of the suture material with the needle holder then we fix it with a hub which actually split the central venous uh, catheter into three lumen uh, there's a delta wing shape hub present in the central venous catheter uh, which holds two uh, hole on both one in each uh, wing then we then we give a surgeon's knot with the skin over this hole and fix the uh, central venous line at this at the puncture site and we have to uh, and this is how we are this is a very close look how we uh, give the surgeon's knot here uh, we can see uh, this is easy but uh, as we give the local anesthetic, so pain is slightly lesser, but not 100% pain free in this procedure if the patient is awake. Then we put dressing just over the puncture site for sterilization purpose or for the safety purpose of this um, of the central venous line. After putting the after putting the um, dressing, we have to counsel the patient for this. 
uh, uh, about the central venous line how to care about it and uh, after that uh, uh, after that uh, he should be uh, free to go to his work as the patient is bedridden the patient uh, uh, we are doing this on 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 his bed and we seeing the doctor is uh, counseling him and thank you thank you everyone